Hi guys, uh, Jilly Q from um, Queensland, Australia, Sunshine Coast, on a bit of a, a, a rainy, damp, humid day. I'm in my art room, thankfully. I'm gonna have some play time now and play with my um, play with paints. So I'm going to paint on a hexagon stretched canvas. So the, he the hexagon stretch canvas is already pre gessoed It's already pre-painted, should I call it, or pre-gesso. Gesso, or whatever. I can never say the names right, but that's me. So I've got a little bit of a plan that I kind of draw the hexagon shape because what I'm hoping is to do a swipe out from the hexagon and in the centre is the uh, flowers, the um, balloon kissing, to try and create, uh, create a flowery look. But as you know, if you watch any of mine, nothing ever goes to plan. So one day, hopefully, um, it will do. I'm going to, I've just put a new piece of card on, uh, well, it's soft plastic file divider, um, soft part, and then I've just taped it to my, an old spatula because then I've got a good shape, so I'll use this as my swipe. So I think that I think that might, might work. So I'm gonna give it, again, it, it's another um, day where I'm just gonna try these things. So, so, um, I'm thinking that I will do the outsides first and, and give it the swipe, and then I'll move to the center, so. We just see how it goes, and hopefully, it'll all um, come out. Even if it doesn't go to plan, that doesn't particularly worry me. As long as it comes out looking something attractive, would be nice. <laughs> so they're all uh, Montmartre Studio Acrylics. The name of my supplier in Australia, online supplier, is underneath. There is a a link through to suppliers in the U.S. and Canada. And I'm told absolutely Montmartre paints and products are available by Amazon in the United Kingdom. So, all good. All good. Okay, where did I want to go? So the lilac, the teal, teal, teal. And I may even go a bit of purple. So that was the uh, Montmartre. Um, turquoise but I did add a bit of blue okay that's way too thick that's thickened up some of these paints have been made a few days so some of them have and some I only made yesterday so I'm just gonna I'm just adding actually water to this to thin it down I'm not adding any of the pouring medium all of my paints have got two drops of Helmar silicone in every color every one my recipe, as I say, is underneath this um, video. Still a bit thick, eh? Hey? It's thickened up. Thicker than some. Let's go back a second time. So what I have in mind for it, whether it works or not, is a whole different story, but let's, let's just hope that it does. So this is the phalo blue. I've got to move my coffee cup. Okay, bring my nice cup of coffee in here. Enjoy that time. Having my, my me time, should I say, in my art room. So I'm going to just pour this over the edge. I'm not too worried about the edges because it is definitely something I can fix up after. If anybody is a beginner, I have a link underneath my videos now that I'm putting permanently for links to beginners videos. So any of your questions will be answered in the beginners videos, I'm pretty sure. So, so, okay, I might give it a little bit more of this lilac, lilac-y colour, just to
So I want to thank you guys for joining me. I so appreciate you watching my videos and so appreciate the wonderful comments I've been getting from you guys um, about my paws or asking different things. So I'm very appreciative that you're following me on my art journey and hope, you know lots of people are saying that they're getting lots uh, lots from it themselves in the information that I share so happy about that okay just I'll try and thin this purple again a little bit more this is the um, Montmartre purple but I've added a bit of blue to it so it's sent it quite a bit darker which I like I'm looking forward to the new Montmartre colours coming out this month so I'm really looking forward to getting stuck into some of those and uh, showing you all the new colours when they come in okay think 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 do I or don't I I want to just put a little bit of this teal on the inner rim just try and give a little bit of a tilt I have put my giant push pins underneath I'm not don't want to tilt it because I don't want to get it all back over that center so I'm gonna just leave it as it is having to think about what color I would like to swipe it with and I think I'm going to go with the bright yellow in the swipe. Yeah, I think I might go with the yellow swipe. So I just want to carefully, carefully, which it doesn't, doesn't matter if I put it on the inside of this because I can, re I can use that color up in my hopefully my balloon kissing that's going to become my flowers just in the center hopefully alrighty alrighty I mean actually I might do the whole center in the yellow just give that a spread around Oh, and a fly appears from absolutely nowhere. I've got all the doors shut, got the air conditioning on. So where do these flies appear from? I, they just seem to sniff out paint like it's some delicacy. Okay. Giving it a go, giving it a go. Okie doke. Let's, where did I put that? Okay losing my stuff. Just going to use a bit of, um, need something to wipe my Swifty Swipe off as I go along to try and keep your Swifty Swipe clean in, in between. So yeah, that's my Swifty Swipe. So I'm going to do it out, um, yeah, sort of, okay. Not sure if I want the yeah I'll have to go with it now well I don't have to do anything but I was not sure whether I wanted the yellow as the swipe all the way around but I will go with the flow So yeah, the Swifty Swipe's nice and easy for you to do a swipe with because it's got that angled 
the, the, the angle of the actual um, spatula so it's a good angle to work with just try and put that all up there just keep going around this oh I never wiped off my tool really well my swifty swipe should have wiped it better but it's all good it's no biggie just using the blue that I've got on the swifty swipe to basically paint the, the edges of the canvas so just using the colours that I've um, swiped off it's all good can I hear some thunder going out there? I don't know whether we're heading for another big storm again. It certainly sounds like it. Okay, keep on going. Keep going, keep going. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Making a right mess. Beautiful. Oh, oh, what am I doing? I've got an odd angle. I should have just turned my canvas around or gone around the back, but I was just trying to take a shortcut and see what that does for you. But I'm sure something will come beautiful out of it. No problem. Don't stress over it, whatever you do. It's our therapy session. We've got to relax, relax and unwind. Okay. I need another. Ah. I need something to wipe my um, tool off on either side of the canvas because I'm trying to stretch over and my paint's going flying. I must be in a crazy mood today because, yeah, just because. <laughs> okay, so just taking it nice and easy. No stress. No stress. all good so yeah if, let me know if you've had a go at one of these hexagon um, canvases or the nice big round round canvases are really nice to do a um, kind of a starburst pour but this one isn't <laughs> going it's supposed to be a starburst pour because I'm going to do a different center so let's just hope a wing and a prayer that it turns out my vision and now I'm getting cramp in my toe what's going on with that must need more is it more um, mag not magnesium what's the other thing you need when you get cramps I'm sure somebody will tell me um, oh yeah I think it's magnesium for cramps oh, cramp in my toe you know when your toes just curl up and do really spaz things on you Oh, it's awful. Okay. All good. I'm not worrying about that just at the minute because it, it's all good. I think things are meant for a reason, so I'll just go with the flow, Joe. Go with the flow. Alrighty. Alrighty. So, the middle. I have two, actually I will give a bit of heat, I have two options that I thought I'd try for the centre balloon, just because I just want a balloon in the centre. I either will put a bit of paint onto uh, a canvas that I don't like here and deep from the canvas on, but I might just try a circle of paints and see if just drip it, dipping, kissing the paint directly. I'll see which gives the best dip. So here goes me wonder wand. Just 
just heats the paint slowly not like a torch but I certainly get the same good results with the Wonder Wand just at a slower pace which is obviously good for the canvas because it's not all the paint should I say because it's not burning so there you go Ooh, actually I should have balloon balloon come on balloon get me balloon Two different styles I would like to try. Let me swifty swipe out the way because that's <sighs> okay. Um, I think I'd like to try um, balloon kissing on directly onto the canvas first. So we'll give that one a go. I'll just put my dippy sheet down, ready to wipe my balloon off with in between dips, kisses. I think it's kisses because you, you definitely kiss the canvas. Okay, I just try with a little bit of paint, putting the paint into little, um, circles everywhere. I just try it, hopefully it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It's just a, another little thing. I love trying Art Lab Day. Not, not too worried because I'm sure it will be beautiful either way. We'll still put a bit of, so that was the orange in the Montmartre studio and the, I'm gonna put some lemon in again. Probably should use a lot less paint because I just should have used a lot less paint. <laughs> okay, I need some colour in this as well now. To, but look how lovely this looks, just having the colour around the edge of your hexagon. So this is kind of, um, it was the red, and what did I do? was the red and I added white and it's gone like uh, a mag magenta, a magenta I was going to say, magenta. I think I'll leave that on. Um, I'm going to add this really rich, rich burgundy of uh, maroon. It's a burgundy or a black grape that I make up myself and I love it. I'm gonna I've got another plan for a, another painting after this one I'm gonna do with I'm actually gonna do the swipe in the burgundy for my next paint, but I wanna do uh, I won't say it's different I wanna do different colours, keep in one tone and then do this burgundy which is right off the chart different to the rest of my colours. Oh wah. stop it. Stop it. Okay, where are we now? Might add a bit of white, eh? Boring old white. Just add a little bit of white. Just to give it a smooch. I just, I love how the, that is round there without nothing in the centre, it's quite nice actually, so I hope I don't overdo it with my balloon kissing, I should have probably just put one circle of colour and then used the paint off the balloon, but as usual, we'll go over the top, OTT, but we'll give it a go, just giving it a try. So. First of all, I'll try the balloon, belly button up, belly button up, and just press it, kiss it in. Oh, wow, oh, look at this. Oh, isn't that pretty? I'm gonna just push it onto another canvas. 
I've got this canvas that I emptied off all the paint so but look at the balloon kiss that came of that one. Oh, I'm going to transfer balloon kisses so I will definitely do that so transferring the balloon kisses is gorgeous oh, I've, got, I've got two of those there so I'm gonna I'll show you them I'll go over once but I will go back over each one that one oh my goodness that deep um, crimson colour or burgundy it does not it really makes something things pop okay there's the miss miss mr uh, gecko jerry oh i'll go back over them we'll bring them up beautifully and then i'll show you what the canvases looks like that i'm transferring the colour onto. They're blooming gorgeous. Absolutely. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm transferring the colour onto this canvas that I've previously scraped. So we'll just see if anything beautiful comes of it but I'm loving it already okay let's go back even if I left this for a little while it probably would benefit just letting the paint absorb into the canvas a little bit coming back and balloon kissing that seems to always do a nice job. Look at that though. I might just push that one in there. Nothing really happened to that one. But never mind. Try, 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 try things that you think might work if they don't. Always a way out. Oh, I like it. I don't think I've done one like this before so please have a go show me come over to my acrylic art by jelly cube facebook page and i have a a group on there that that you guys can post your work i don't like to put my work on it as well because i have my facebook art page for that i like to see your work on it let you guys shine oh look at that that don't look so good but anyway They'll come up better and I'll add some heat to them and it will bring them up. I just love that dark crim crimson or dark burgundy. I'm not going to, I don't want to, I think I need to leave it for the paint to absorb a bit more. Might give it a bit of heat, see how we go with a bit of heat see what I can make oh look at this oh my goodness okay I'm gonna go with that because that's pretty nice just to add on the very ends it looks like the petals look just gorgeous definitely a basket of flowers so this was the ones that I've pressed from there onto that how cool do they look? That was just a scraped canvas, so everything's reusable. I'm just going to go around these edges just to create this look. My basket of flowers. I'm not going to go any further into that because I really like that. But that's quite nice just doing the very edge like that. Ooh, when this is dry and finished and um, varnished it'll be on my there's, I've got a local local gallery uh, local to me and they've got um, a website that they sell my art from and they ship it all over the world so this one uh, 
the drying gods willing will definitely be on there for sale and let's hope it just dries absolutely super duper I even think it needs a little bit more of that burgundy you probably say no don't touch it but I just love that burgundy in with the uh, yellow and the orange so I will I made this up this burgundy up out of um, the dark red and I added the phalo blue and um, what else and I did add a tiny is it this one I think I added a tiny blob of black because I wanted to go even darker dark cherryish so so I might just add a teeny bit of this ah. this is where my little squirty bottles with the color in would come in handy but I haven't got them prepared so I'm going to just try and not to make too much of a mess but you get the gist it might be a nice one for you to try doing some so you're doing se oh look what I've done several techniques in the one work so it it really does look lovely but I'm just really feeling that I need the dark the burgundy around the very edges but that's me um, it might look better doing it with the teeny tiny blue See, that's not. Ooh, see that? The paint needs to be left to dry a little bit. And then it, yeah, I need to leave it. But I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to leave it. Uh, if I come back all it will be will be to add a few of the little uh, tiny water balloon dips but I will post photos at the end for you guys to see I'll give you a bit of a close-up yeah because it doesn't look so good from up here is what it looks down there I don't want my video to be too long and it's long okay sorry guys but I'll do some close-ups of these flowers flower like things it's really gorgeous I love it um, if you have a go at this please let let me see and thank you for for watching thanks so much for subscribing until next time bye for now